Miss Robin. Welcome back to PRP Report. And we came to Denny's today. Why, Bailey? Well, it's Bessie's birthday on Monday and she wanted to have brunch somewhere. And we were like, you know, it was really good. It's underrated Denny's. Yeah, because one time we were driving back down from, I don't know if it was college or one year post-grad college in the Bay Area, we stopped at a Denny's and usually like we knew that Denny's wasn't that great, but we had it and they revamped their menu and it was really good. So then I was like, you know what, really? Let's um, go to back to the traditional diner and not the, the usual like super bougie brunch places that you would find us at. <laughs> so we're here, Denny's, and we're going to go later to watch The Eternals, which we are very excited about. Marvel movies, you know we love them. Yes, very excited. <laughs> but I actually routed us to the wrong Denny's, so we are currently a little bit far from Linwood, which is originally the Denny's we were supposed to go. But I think it worked out because this one's much less crowded and busy. The other one said it was like very busy. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna show you the food that we get and if it's actually as yummy as we say. So what did you get, Bailey? Pumpkin pecan, and I got the Santa Fe skillet, which has chorizo, bell peppers, potatoes, eggs, cheese, all the good stuff, and our hot chocolates. So we came to Home Goods to look at some more Christmas decor. We still need to get a little countdown, um, but I found this cute guy. He wants to come home with us, baby. I don't think he fits in our apartment. Oh, she likes it. It's so squishy. <laughs> I'm not this guy. Oh, little bean. He's so cute. <laughs> Maybe that one. He's so cute. So we finished watching the movie Eternals and we are not okay with the way this movie was filmed or directed because they killed off the one Latina character in the first like what? Like 30 minutes. In the first 30 minutes they killed Salma Hayek. Like what the heck? You were supposed to represent diversity <laughs> in Marvel. We have no Latino superhero and you just killed it off by a white person. Like, come on. Not it, Marvel. If you were trying to do diversity in a movie, you got to keep them alive. You can't just kill them off. And the movie. Does it make any sense, Bailey? We were just so confused the whole time. Like, the premise really doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really connect to any Marvel movie in a way that I can see so far with this film. Maybe in the next one they'll make sense, but there were so many things that contradicted each other. It was like, what? They're making it seem now like, oh, this is the main thing. Like, this is the most important thing. Like, all the Marvel characters, they don't matter. Like, the Eternals, that's what's up. <laughs> and because we finished filming all the Marvel movies, like, now you have to focus on the Eternals. I don't know what the <laughs> critics feel about it. I don't know, I mean, people who actually know a lot about Marvel, you know, maybe they might have more insight, but I personally was like, what? And then at the end, that one of the end credits, Harry Styles popped up, like he's gonna be one of the Eternals, like what the heck? What that mean? was so funny. It was so random. I feel like everything was very ambiguous and like there was no prior explanation, so everything was so confusing and you're like, huh? What is this up? I mean, right away, I was like, they made us read like this paragraph instead of cinematically showing us the premise of the movie. It's just this paragraph that you have to read. I mean, I still enjoyed it because of course like Marvel films have huge production and like the special effects, they're amazing, they're beautiful, and they have still had like those really entertaining, funny moments and they're well written characters. It's just the plot wasn't there well, that's our opinion i don't know how you guys felt if you guys have watched the eternals comment down below your thoughts let us know if you liked it what you thought i'm looking forward to the spider-man movie but now it's pouring rain and we're still in linwood and we are going to go to the mall but it's raining so hard and we parked so far because there's no parking in this place i don't know if there's like some event or some sale or black friday shopping early i don't know 
So yeah, that's what we have next in our agenda. After dinner, um, the tacos were pretty yummy. Not what we were expecting because we wanted the tacos from the actual like pork stick, you know. Um, but they were pretty yummy, right? You like them? They were pretty good. They were decent. Uh, had some rice and beans on the side, and they tasted kind of fake, but <laughs> it's okay. The pineapples were really refreshing on our pastor tacos, mm -hmm. so. They were definitely bomb and as you know we like our dessert so we went across the bridge to Bellevue Square and we got Cheesecake Factory. We got a pumpkin cheesecake. We got a slice of it and we're excited to eat it. We haven't eaten it yet but you're excited right Bailey? I'm really excited. I already had pumpkin pancakes today but you know can't stop there. Can <laughs> have some pumpkin cheesecake? <laughs> yep so you know all the fall stuff. And right now we're gonna be watching the Canelo versus Plant fight because it's the gonna be the fight for the undisputed middleweight championship. Like they're gonna get all the belts, and it's very exciting. So we're currently watching; it's about to start, and we'll see. We'll show you our reactions, our thoughts as the fight goes on. Yeah, you guys didn't think we were into fighting. Yeah, we're not. Um, but I've just never watched a fight before <laughs> in my life. <laughs> my parents, and my dad likes boxing, and he usually watched it growing up. And Saul. Um, Canelo is like, you know, Mexican, so we go rooting for the raza, and yeah, that's who we're cheering for. Saul, he's gonna win because he is way better. So let's go. Nice plant. He thinks he's gonna win. I don't think so. Not today, homeboy. Oh yeah, Canelo's coming out. Because he knows what's up. Look at this, he's got way better production already. <laughs> See the whole stadium is singing. That's how you know. There he goes. Right, Bailey? I think so. Oh shoot, it's zoomed in. <laughs> Here are the stats. Giant Caleb and Little Canelo. <laughs> round one, starting. So the fight is getting more intense. They're in round four. And finally, Canel stepping it up, landing some really good punches. I think the other guy is getting tired, so Canel is playing smart. He's always a better fighter towards later rounds. So, what do you think, Bailey? First time watching a fight? It's more entertaining than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Canel's doing good. Go, Team Canelo! Woohoo! Canelo! <laughs> He's so good! That's right! That's my cinema boy! So the fight ended and Canelo won as I said he would. My boy Canelo, he knocked out Caleb. It was a technical knockout um, because the ref stopped it and the guy was like, he kind of technically knocked him out twice, but then he kept going. And then the next time he like finished him off and then he fell. And then the ref was like, okay, you're done. You're done. You're done. Yeah, you're done. Because he already looked like he was like not able to fight after the first knockout but he wanted to continue going the second time it was like nah he probably would have gotten really bad like i don't know concussion or some trauma with his head because he was like all out of it he couldn't even stand really properly so i'm happy canelo's the first mexican to win the undisputed middleweight championship so that's something really proud you know for the mexican the latinos um so yeah it's a big thing he's gonna go down in history as one of the best boxers hopefully um, I don't know what his plans are in store, but so far he's keeping the Mexico name up in high. So proud of that. That's what's going to be all for tonight. Tomorrow we're going to do some more fun things. We're going to go go-karting with our friend Bree. So you're going to see all of that, which I'm very excited to do that. So yeah, go birthday weekend. Yay! So we came here with our friend Bree to go-kart, which they are right behind us, as you can see. <laughs> this is all our first time doing like a 
faster than like Ubers or what do you call the place? Scandia? Scandia, like that type of environment, which is like much smaller and not as fast. These cars go like 30 or higher miles per hour, so <laughs> it's kind of like really fast. We're excited to do it. Um, we came to this place, like it's called Tuquila or Tuquila. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Keep you guys posted on how it goes. So, what's happening, Bailey? So, we came to this Mexican restaurant in Renton, and we saw that they have like a tortilla machine. It's like legit flour tortillas. They're so fluffy, so we just ordered a side of them because our dishes didn't come with it. And I just took the first bite. So good. Like, not as good as Abuelita Angelina's, but <laughs> they're really good. What do you think, Brie? You like them? 10 out of 10, pretty yummy. I still really got it. <laughs> Karting was a lot of fun. Um, I think it was definitely a very adrenaline rush experience. It would have been perfect if there wouldn't have been a reckless guy at this go-karting place who came in, was driving really fast, and crashed into my go-kart, and then I crashed into Bree's go-kart. So he just came out of nowhere and it was like really, really bad, and I felt like my neck hurt and everything, but God is good. After a few days, I was okay and I was able to recover and now my neck is totally fine from the crash. So that was that. How did you feel about go-karting, Bailey? Like Bessie said, it was really exciting. I think that it just felt like really fast and kind of scary going around all the turns because you don't really have any protection. Like you're just in this little go-kart and you just have a helmet on and I've never done a go-karting like that only the ones at like pizza places like John's Incredible Pizza if you've ever been there yeah it was super fun I was thankful that I was not in the crash but felt really sad that my friends got hurt a little bit so that was kind of scary but overall it was really fun yeah definitely and that Mexican food that we had was pretty yummy Bailey loved those handmade tortillas I personally think it's not one of the best Mexican places that we've been, but it was pretty decent. Like it, it held up, you know, to what we needed. We were hungry, but that's going to be all for our vlog. If you guys liked it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below for more of our vlogs. And remember, we'll BRB in the next video.